you, you come in an agreement, right? So agreement is a pretty much a covenant. So you are coming into something, um, and I'm, I'm assuming you're, you're referring to an agreement from, with the enemy. So, um, and, and we want now to recover back to the narrow path where we can be back in agreement with God. Well, first of all, you must repent, right? You must acknowledge, repent, and ask God to forgive you um, and, and pray that all of those uh, agreements and everything attached to the agreement, agreement is nullified. Right, so we break up the altar, right? Because if, if if you look at agreement and you look at how the Old Testament is laid out, when they came into a covenant, you, you would see something like an altar being being laid together, right? A covenant, right? That's where we we see generational curses. Our ancestors came in a agreement, a covenant. They came to demonic altars, and, and they came and they established an agreement, established a, a covenant with the enemy. Well, the first thing you do is you deal with the altar. You have to demolish that altar, demolish the agreement, and tear up, break up, demolish the altar that the agreement was on. You, you, you ask God to forgive you. God has forgive you. He's not going to remember it. But now you need to work in intercession. You need to get around people uh, to break up now that, that, that altar, the altar where the agreement is on. It's always on an altar. There's always an agreement. That's why when you study and you look at, um, for those that um, you study, let me say that, uh, abroad and you go out, and you go to places like India and those places where you really see the witch doctors and those stuff, the witches and the warlocks, right? They tend to be on altars, right? They're on altars, have an agreement, cutting off the chicken head, throwing blood on it. Why, what are they doing? They, they're laying an agreement, right, uh, for something that is connected to someone's bloodline. And once an agreement or a covenant is created, it can go from generation to generation nonstop till someone breaks it. So someone has to break that covenant, that agreement, that, that altar that's been raised up in every generation. Once it's raised up, it moves from this generation to the next generation. It never stops till someone comes now and nullify it, destroys it, right? Ask God to forgive you for the agreement that was made in ignorance or whatever the case may be. God has forgiven you. Now you break up that altar by your words, right? Because you're back in agreement with God and God has said you're the head and not the tail. God has said, I've given you power to tread upon serpents. God said, if you should decree a thing, it shall be established. So you come back now in those agreements with his word and what his word said it should be. And then you throw the arrows of God's word at that altar at that covenant which is destroyed now and you break up the altar you break it up you demolish it that's why when god would deal with his prophets of old in the old testament he would say look you guys need to go and break up these altars you, you need to demolish these altars right you need to go and pull them down and break them down he, he sends his prophets to break them down to tear them down because the altar right you always will come to the altar and establish agreements with the enemy demonic altars so once that altar once you know and you come into a knowing that the thing you just made was a mistake first thing you must do ask god to forgive you lord god was ignorant i just didn't know forgive me i was blind i've learned this lesson give me eyes to see forgive me for this well the altar is still standing so the next thing now is to focus on to break that thing down nullify everything on it right and then demand everything that was stolen out of your bloodline Demand it back with interest. Everything that is stolen, so you break it up, you destroy it, you send fire prayers at it, you 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 send it to be demolished and never be able to be erupt, raised back up. And these are the things, right? These are the weaponries that we have, right? When it talks about spiritual warfare, because we're still back in spiritual warfare, agreement and spiritual warfare, right? So we 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 break up all of these things because what we are wrestling not against flesh and blood principalities, powers, rules of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places, right? And how do he say, what else would we do? And we also, he said, put on the whole armor of God, put on the whole armor of God and pray, right? So we are praying in the evil there. So you are praying against all of these things. When you have asked God to forgive you, you break up all of these spiritual uh, things that are standing up against you, your bloodline, and everyone connected to you. I hope I answered your question. God bless you. Oh, wow. That was so good. Apostle, you know what? If you don't mind,